In this video, I'm going to show you how to sell Wix templates on Gumroad. So before we get started, I'm just going to brief you on what exact topics we'll be covering in this demonstration. So first off, I'm going to show you how it looks when you're editing a website template on the Wix website. And I'll show you how it looks once it's uh, once it gets published live online and then show you how you can edit a few details on the template as well as how to transfer ownership to our customers. Now, once we have our Wix website template ready, I'm going to show you how you can list it as a sellable product on Gumroad and what steps the customers need to take to complete the purchase so that we can transfer ownership. So let's begin. First off, you're going to want to log into your Gumroad account and your Wix account. Now, it'll be beneficial if you have a subscription for Wix, but you can also already do a lot of stuff with their free version. So if you want to stick with the free version, you can freely do so. So what we have here is a sample template of a Wix website. So this isn't particularly my creation. It's just a sample template I found on Wix. So for this example, let's say uh, we made this ourselves. And of course, you're free to, or actually it's recommended that you make your own just by, uh, you know, fo either following a template you found on Wix or making one from scratch. You have a lot of freedom to work with once you have an account with Wix. As you can see here, you can edit a bunch of stuff. There's a quick edit option, but if you want to go into full detail, each element on the page is interactable and you can freely edit them. You can change text, layout, design, animation. As you can see, all of these elements are free to edit. And also, if we look at the left-hand side of the screen, we can also add a bunch of elements. So text, image, button, strip, uh, decorative shapes, boxes, gallery, so on and so forth. So just with the free version of Wix, we already have a lot of freedom to edit our website. So once our Wix website template is ready, just make sure that it isn't published yet since we're going to be selling this to our customers. And uh, if you've made any changes, just make sure to click the save button right here. Now I'm just going to show you real quick how this website looks like once it's uh, published. So we're going to click on view site. And as you can see over here, it's working pretty well. And there's a home page. There's a This Is Us page. There's a menu page and a Contact Us page. So almost everything a, an aspiring uh, cafe needs for an online website. So yeah, all of these details are editable once the customer has this template. So now we're just gonna head back to our Wix dashboard. So to do that, we're gonna hover on the Wix logo right here and then click on go to dashboard. Now, before I show you how to transfer ownership, we're gonna head back to Gumroad first. And then from here, we're just gonna create a new product so click on products on the left side of the screen and then click on new product right here now in this section we're just going to type in wix website template one right there now this is a digital product of course since it's an online template then we're going to put our price right here let's say it's for fifty dollars we're going to proceed to next customize then we're going to add our description here. 
So for the description, I'm just going to put in get uh, buy your own Wix website template. for cafe owners who want to boost their business online something like that and then you can modify your url here let's say i want it to be wix template if you have a custom domain you can add it over here and then we can add a cover photo or a thumbnail photo. So for now, we're just going to skip these steps since it's not uh, it's not really necessary for the actual process. However, it is recommended. So if you have like a preferred cover photo or a thumbnail, then uh, you can upload them over here. Now for the product info. I'm just going to change it to buy this under a call to action and then you'll get part ownership of the Wix website template. If you want to add more details, you can do so over here and a few integrations over here if you'd like to add them. Like for example, if you want to invite your customers to a circle community or invite them to a Discord server, then you can activate these and link your uh, circle community or Discord server. Now the pricing, uh, we kept it at $50 and if versions are necessary, then you can add them here. Now under settings, we can see there's a bunch of things we can work with here, such as limit product sales, allow customers to choose a quantity, publicly show the number of sales on your product page. So maybe we'll keep that, but the rest are not really that much applicable to our product. So. We're going to skip those for now. Next step would be to click save and continue. Now in here, uh, we can upload an image of what the website template looks like. But the thing is, what we need is their email address so that we can transfer the ownership of the product so let's say uh we're just gonna grab an image from our wix website editor or actually for this example i'm just gonna grab a coffee shop stock image from unsplash just as an example. So since Unsplash is royalty free, you can freely use the stock photo for this example. And then I'm gonna upload that image right here. So this is not the actual product they're getting, but you know, say for example, this is what the cafe looks like then. Uh, this will show up on the purchase page. So we're just going to click uh, save changes for now. We're not going to publish this yet. Um, the next step would be to go to checkout right here on the left side of the screen. And on checkout, we're going to go to checkout form. And then we'll be needing a text field so that the customers can input their email address once they purchase the wix template so here we have this label which says add your email address here to complete the ownership transfer of the wix website template now under products we're just going to select wix website template since it's only applicable for this kind of product and then once everything's good uh, we're going to toggle required of course since of course, they're not going to get the template if they don't put in their email address. So we're going to toggle required and then click save changes. 
Now we're just going to go back to products and check if this has reflected on our Wix website template. And of course, we're going to need to publish this as well. We're going to go to content and then click publish and continue. Then under preview, we're just going to click on this arrow right here. And for the Wix website template, if the customer clicks on buy this, then you can see right here, there is this text box that says add your email address here to complete the ownership transfer of the Wix website template. So they're going to add their email address right here and then pay. And once that's done, I'm going to show you how we can transfer ownership. So we're going to head back to Wix over here on our dashboard. Once you're at the dashboard, click on the three dots right here, which says site actions, and then click on transfer site. Now here, our Wix website template is named Hecky right here. So we're going to enter the email address that the customer has put in on the purchase page right here. So for example, it's this image or is it's this email address. And then describe them as someone else since they're not really a client and they're not an agency or a freelancer unless otherwise specified. So we're going to click continue. And then here, we're just going to make sure that create a copy of this site and keep it in my account is picked on this box right here so that uh, we still have access to that template and we're free to just duplicate it and make changes to it so that we can uh, create new templates and that we don't have to always start from scratch. And of course, this should be on. Keep my role as co-owner of this site after the transfer. Once that's done, just click continue and the ownership will be transferred or will be granted to the customer after they pay for the product. And that's about it. That's how you sell Wix templates on Gumroad. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.